What's going on guys? It's the VPN Ranger and I'm going to be talking about if NordVPN is worth the money. Alright, so I've been using NordVPN for almost two years now. I do the monthly subscription which is like $11 a month. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description, but I want to go over why I like them, why I think they're pretty much the best, and I also want to mention, if you're not using a VPN, you know, they're good for hiding your location, making it impossible for Google to track you. You can download movies, torrents, stream things without getting hit up by your service provider, and then of course you can access restricted websites not available in your country. Now before I log into my account, I do want to pull up their main site and just go over some of the benefits to using them, and as I'm going over all this stuff, just message me below in the comments if you have any questions about them. Alright, so first off, uh, as far as server options on here, they've got somewhere over, what is it, 5,000 servers across 62 different countries, which is, you know, crazy. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can connect, a lot of different areas you can connect. They've also got some really cool uh, security features on here, which I want to go over, they've, but they've got like military grade encryption on here. So basically they use like a double VPN, which is a way that they take you through one VPN to another VPN. And it just makes it impossible for anybody to track your activity, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And one other thing I want to point out about Nord is that you can actually, you know, access, um, you know, more than one account. So like if you have one account, you can use more than one device, I mean. So you can log in with the same account, you know, to like a Windows computer, a Mac, you know, an iPhone, Android, whatever it is, you can use one account for multiple devices, which is pretty cool, right? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna log into them. I'm gonna show everybody basically how everything on here looks, but it is pretty sweet. They've got a built-in map feature on here, which lets you pretty much like browse anywhere across the world. You know, like let's uh, kind of hover over here. So if you wanna just connect to a specific area, we'll try Russia for instance. So I'm just gonna connect to this so you can kind of just see how fast the connection speeds are on here. They're literally about five seconds and then you're good to go. Like if you want to disconnect, you can press the disconnect option. Um, and if you don't want to browse, you know, through the built-in map feature, which looks awesome, you can just go by, you know, different countries. So for example, let's just do Australia because it's up at the top here. Let's try connecting to Australia. It'll take you there on the map. And then of course, it'll pull up your new IP address and active VPN connection. It's really sweet. So, uh, you know, Nord's really good for streaming purposes. So, I mean, if you plan on streaming a lot of things, it's really good, but you know, just in general, I mean, it's very reliable. When you're connected, it stays connected. Uh, I've been very happy with them. I think they have a very user-friendly app, you know, no, no matter what device you're using. And, you know, it's like 11 or $12 a month to be subscribed with them to use this service. But, you know, if you're looking for that privacy and you're gonna need this long-term, you just gotta ask yourself, what is like 11 or 12 bucks a month? I mean, it's literally nothing. It's the cost of Netflix. So I'll have a link in the description if you wanna check out Nord. Hit me up below. If you have any questions about them, I'll get back to you. Please hit that like and share. This is the VPN Ranger trying to help you guys out. And we'll see you guys later.